Hi, I'm Karen. We're here at Montevilla Sewing Center, and today we're talking about the Baby Lock Celebrate Serger. In this video, I'm going to do an overview of this machine. Here is where you plug in both the foot control and the power in one plug. Above that is your power switch. Here we have the hand wheel, and with an arrow pointing to which way it goes, if you turn it by hand. Here we have an accessory tray. It's really nice and convenient to put your accessories right in there. Make sure you look in there because there will be accessories that come with your machine. Here we have the spool pins and the cone holders for the four threads. Up here we have the thread tree. Make sure that it's all the way extended all the way up. When you use your serger, that will make sure that the thread flows nice and freely. Back here we have the carrying handle and we have thread guides right here. Up here is the presser foot pressure dial. This regulates how tightly the presser foot pushes against your fabric. Most of the time I just leave it right where it is. Here we have the tension dials. Now this is important to note that you can adjust each one of your thread tensions individually. Here we have the thread guides. And then we have a handy needle threader which makes your, threading your needles really nice and I'll show you that in my threading video. This is the presser foot lifter lever right there and we also have a thread cutter right here, nice and handy to have. And when you push this button you can take off the presser foot like that. When you move this dial it moves the cutting mechanism as well as this stitch finger so you can change your seam allowance width. This here is for disengaging your cutting mechanism. You push this down, it says lock, that means it's not going to move while you do any surging, but to get it to come back up, turn it the other way and take a stitch and there it comes back up and now it's re-engaged. This one is for your stitch length. The dial has two halves to it, so for regular surging you want to be in the white area and for rolled hem, you want to be in the dark area. Now watch what happens right up here. When I turn it into the dark area, it takes away that extra stitch finger. I'll show you again. That will make it for a nice, narrow rolled hem. And here we have the two loopers. You can see how they form the stitch there. This is the subsidiary looper. We put that in there if you're using two threads. Most of the time, we have this out of the way like that. And then we have the threading tubes right here. Now for threading, the loopers, we have jet air threading. We have the threading ports right here and the threading mechanism right here. And I'll show you all about how to thread this in my threading video. Over here we have the differential lever. When you put it way down here, notice that you can stretch out your stitches. Up here you can gather. Now if you look at this front feed dog, you can see how it moves a little bit. This mechanism just adjusts the front feed dogs. For your length, which is your lower knob, that adjusts both feed dogs. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you have comments or questions or ideas for other videos you'd like to see, put those in the comment area down below. We have lots of other videos here on our Montevilla YouTube channel, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Bye.